Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called You're in a PC. Now, we have multiple locations we could start at, but we should start at the one that's called In the PC, because to me, that's the one that makes the most sense. And I really cannot tell what's going on from this position, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out so I can see things a little bit better. And wow, that really is a huge PC. All right, now I kind of got an idea what's going on. So we got an Intel CPU with a stock cooler. We got a big old fan over there. We got some denotated wham. We got the power supply power plugs. And below us, I assume that is a graphics card. Does it have any fans on the other side? Let's see. Has one fan, so that's a red circle on it. That means it's an AMD fan. Then we just got little details on the motherboard. And then in this box would be the power supply. Except it's empty. How about if we go to the back? Aha, so it at least looks like a power supply. There's just no actual way to get in there. And ha, look at the name of the power supply. BNG 600. That is the world's biggest power switch. I swear, that thing is huge. So now back to the truck, and let's try driving around on the graphics card, because well, I don't know where else I could possibly go. Like, that right there is too tall to really try to climb up. So we'll just go straight and see if there's any way down or not. Is that, like, actually a road down here? Or is this just a cliff? That's just a cliff. That's just a cliff. We're falling in the cliff. I thought it might be a road. I was mistaken. And it keeps falling and falling because we're so high up. All right, truck's dead. Reset this and let's replace it with something faster because this is a long way to drive. So how about we go with the hill climb version of the sunburst because this thing should be able to cover lots of ground in no time at all. So we're already up to 70 miles per hour and I have no idea how far I'm actually gonna be driving here. Like. Is that near the end? No. Like, everything feels so weird because it's a big solid color. You don't have really much sense of depth. So I like, keep having to wait. Are we close? Okay, yeah, we're close. All right, that is not a way down. That is just like the edge of the card, so we can't do anything there. So we'll go this direction. Is there anything at the end of this? That's different. No, but there is the power plugs. That's the best we got for trying to get down. I don't think we're going to get down because this is basically a vertical drop, but we're going to try it out anyways. Just sneak our car in and ooh, ow 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 that was a bad place to place the car just bashed it up in multiple directions now we're gonna go ahead and hit the ground and, oh we're falling again ooh now we hit the edge of the case or so between the power supply and the glass of the case okay well let's go ahead and reset this and i don't think there's actually a way to really maneuver from place to place on this thing seems like it is just a giant computer so if all they're giving me is a giant computer, we can still have fun with that. Like, what if we drop the car onto the CPU cooler? Will anything interesting happen here? Let's see. Well, that was just one big fat crash. I don't know how I managed to thread the needle so well. Like, I just put it randomly. And look at how perfect it fits. Just right in between them. I didn't want it to happen like that, though. I wanted to hit one of the fins on the cooler. So we'll try a different alignment and see if we can hit it this time. There we go. That's much more what I was looking for. And we're going to still fall in the center area, but I had an interesting crash at the start. That's what I was looking for. So back up here, not much else we could do with those, but there is still the fan. We could shove this thing into the fan and see what happens. So let's see. Not much. We kind of just fell right into the center of it, so nothing too interesting could happen. We'll put it off to the edge a bit more and see if anything cool happens. There we go. We got a little bit of a twirl going. And everything is so darkly colored, I really have no idea exactly what I was hitting. It's a little bit hard to tell what's what in this environment. We can also stick it between two sticks of RAM. I think it'll actually fit between those, right? Oh, easily it'll fit between those. We can fit a whole trailer in between these things. Yeah, we fell all the way to the bottom without making contact with them. Cool. I mean, no matter how you look at it, this map is exactly what it promised. We are inside of a computer. We could also go outside of a computer, except we move so slowly because everything is so big. Like we're smaller than the keys on the keyboard, aren't we? Let's see here. Yeah, we're significantly smaller than the keys on a keyboard. The indentations of the keys on the keyboard is about half the height of my car. Everything is too big. That's the problem. Look at this, look at the height of the keys. I'm not that tall. And these don't even look like that tall of keys. They look like kind of like low profile scissor switches. And yet, they're still so tall. And I'm missing a wheel. Stupid wheel. I don't need you. Now what's on the monitor? 
got Crisis. Something from the BMG Drive forums and Minesweeper all at the same time. This dude can multitask. And what about the mouse? Am I as big as the scroll wheel on a mouse? Let's see here. Maybe close? Nope, they're huge. The scroll wheel is big. I mean, I mean, it would make sense considering if you compare me to the keyboard and stuff, the scroll wheel would be bigger. But man, it's big. It's actually a wheel too. If you look under the mouse, it's fully a wheel. Not just like a half wheel because nobody would actually look under there like, nah, let's just make it a full wheel anyways. All right, where else can we go? We can go onto the chair. We can fall off from the armrest. See, if you're a matchbox car and you fell off the armrest, there'd be certain doom to you in this kind of situation. How far is the floor? There's a good question. So off the edge we go. Oh my goodness, the floor is so far. It is so far. Like, even the bottom of the chair takes a while to get to. I say, no, nah, we're only halfway, though. We still gotta get all the way to the floor. And, ooh, I wanna fly into the trash can. I really want to fly into that trash can. Finally, we are there. Everything is just so big. Anything you do seems to take forever. Alright, so to the trash can. We're gonna find a way in somehow. We can even fit under the computer. Look at this. This thing is so tall. The tunnel of the computer is big enough to easily fit multiple cars. And we'll call it the tunnel of the computer. Even though it's just, you know, it has it on legs so the dust doesn't collect. So big! I don't even think I can really fit my finger under one of those. Like, this would not be a matchbox car then. This would be much, much smaller. Because if you put a matchbox car on your keyboard and it's smaller than the key, that ain't no matchbox unless you got one big old keyboard. So somewhere around here, there should be a trash can. This time I at least have a good idea of how big the table is because there's some texture on this, unlike the inside of the computer, where I started. And we're driving along 170 miles per hour and we still haven't reached the other side. All right, there we go. Are we gonna make it? Oh man, we might have overshot it, I don't know. Like my sense of scale is so messed up, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Oh, we overshot it. Engine is starved of oil. We're in the air so long, the engine actually had time to get starved of oil. And now it's crashed. I'm gonna bring it back up and we're gonna make it into that trash can. I know I missed it the first time, but now I know about what speed I need to go. And if I know what speed I need to go, I should be able to do it. Bring it back to there. Probably is enough room to get up to speed. And I think I just gotta aim at that pole directly ahead of us and we'll hit the target. So we wanna go only about 100, 150 area kind of speed and we should be fine. I know that's a big range, but it's kind of a hard thing to guesstimate. So I'll stick right in between the two at 125-ish. And that looks like we are going to make it into the trash can, right? Right? It's like starting to fly forward. I'm like, maybe it won't. No, it will. Beautiful. No, I missed. Oh, come on. I thought I had it. Okay, 100 miles per hour and then we can get in the trash. I thought that was good, but it's just the sense of scale is so messed up. It's hard to guess. All right, slow it down, slow it down. We only want to go about 100-ish here. There, that one has to make it. There's no way that misses, because that's 20 miles per hour less. Yeah, that one's dead centered. Well, it looks like it from way up here. It is pretty good centered up, though. Is it starved of oil? Well, we're going to have more problems now, because the car just actually went through the bottom of it, and we're under it. What? That's kind of weird, so... Huh. Weird. It has like a, a hidden underside to it. I crashed through it so hard I just broke physics and flew right through a wall. I'm not really sure which. And there's still a few more things around here I want to take a look at. Like, if we go up to that light, is there anything interesting in there? Let's find out. If we can never get there, it's so far away. Come on, camera. And I'm actually doing the thing where I hold down shift to fly faster this whole time. I've always been flying faster. Cool, there is a light bulb in here. Now let's just land on the light bulb and watch it roll off. And then fall for like a solid two minutes straight to get to the bottom because of how high up we are. Maybe we won't watch it fall because it'll take so long. Are we, are we gonna hit that though? Oh, we just barely missed the edge of the light. And that thing's gonna fall for a long time. So instead of looking at that, I'm gonna go look at the door handle. And I'm gonna put my car on the door handle. Actually, we can put it on the, the seam of the door. So let's see if this actually works because it looks like it'd be wide enough. If we just put our car right 
there. Yeah, it fits no problem. That's how tiny this car is. It is so itty bitty. And obviously it could fit on the door handle if it could fit on that. Yep, no problem there. And I think that pretty much does it for this map. There's not too much to do except explore because everything is so big. Wait, what's up there? I see a circular light, but what else is up here? There's the door frame. We could go on that for sure, but I want to see if there's anything interesting with that light. Which means we're going to be flying at it for a solid two minutes. I'm just guessing everything's two minutes because of how far things are. You know, to finish things up, we're going to drop this from the roof. And we're going to see just how long it'll take. That sounds interesting because I know it'll take a really long time. So is there anything inside of the light? Nope, nothing in the light. So drop the car from the ceiling and we'll see just how long it can take. And it is falling. Like, I had to make sure it was falling because we're so high up in the air, I wasn't sure. We're just falling perfectly level. And this is going to take a while, so I'll let you guys watch this if you want to. And until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.